Are brands contacting you on social media? Stay tuned for more information. So hi everyone. I don't think it matters if you're in the um, product reviewing and testing realm or not. A lot of people are having uh, brands contact them via social media, either through comments or direct messages. And I thought I'd address that in a few videos. I'm going to try to make them as short as possible because I know that I can really get long winded. So I'm trying to make it as short as possible. So I'll cut it up into um, shorter videos to give you guys some tips as well for this month. So let's get to it. So a lot of these brands have pretty common messages. Um, sometimes they're simple things like uh, they'll leave a um, a comment on an Instagram post. That's where I've seen it mostly where they say, you know, DM us to collaborate or DM us. We'd love to work with you. Things like that. Um, I also occasionally um, have direct messages from brands or from third party accounts, which I'll get to later. But I do have some good examples today that I had earlier today from some brands that are really popping up a lot more. But most of them basically are a few little factors, but there's at least two to three key ones. One is basically they're asking you to become an ambassador for their product or their brand. Um, another one is that they want to give you an affiliate code so you can earn sales on items that, you know, somebody you know may buy. And then sometimes there is the other ones that are like for multi-level marketing, like an Avon or um, a lot of the health and wellness ones that are going around stuff like that. I haven't had one of those in a while, but that, that's some of them. But um, some of the messages too that you get for direct messaging are very basic. Some of them are kind of like automated messages, or at least I think they are. And I'll show you what I mean by the examples in just a second. This edited photo is a good example of what I consider to be an automated reply, because as you can see, I have an auto reply set um, for my Instagram and the um, sender actually replied back to that trying to give me their secondary offer. When I checked this particular brand, I think they did like leather handbags. So I am assuming it was like an affiliate program where you purchase whatever it is and they apparently give you a, a deal. So this one was for a review, which I'd like to add is becoming more and more common. Um, a lot of these are probably for Amazon or for other um, websites, but predominantly they're for Amazon. And a lot of these are just like that. They're just like cold uh, questions asking you if you would like to see their products. So again, um, most of these just vary by the brand and or person sending you the, um, the message. Some companies or some brands actually recruit like random accounts that they create as like their third party recruiter. So I wanted to add that in before I forgot. Um, so sometimes you'll get like a really random direct message from like Jane Smith and she'll be like, hi, I'm Jane and I came across your, um, your account and you do wonderful work. And it's like trying to flatter you. And then eventually again, the pitch comes in of, I'm working with, you know, XYZ brand and we're looking for ambassadors or we'll give you a discount on our jewelry or our clothing, or you can earn a 10% um, commission on all sales. And that seems to be the thing right now. It's jewelry and clothing. Um, that's what I keep coming across. And the handbag was something different, but it's a lot of stuff that you don't really know if somebody that you know will purchase. And some of it isn't cheap either. Some of it's more high end products. So it is quite pricey. So if you're only going to get 10% of a $150 bag, I don't know if that's really worth it for you. Um, it, again, it just depends on the pricing and what their, um, sales pitch is. So is it spam or a scam? That's the thing. You don't really know. Um, what I like to do is when I sent a lot of the just random DMs from brands, I, I, search them to see how legitimate they are. I'm really not looking into doing any ambassador work or anything at this point, because a lot of it's those ambassador programs where they make you purchase whatever it is. And 
um, give them free publicity basically where they claim that they'll give you an X amount off, which is fine if that's something that you can afford to do, but I can't. Um, and a lot of it at times too just gets really repetitive. It's like um, they want you to meet quotas and stuff like that. There's a lot of other companies as well that are from overseas. I've had a number of um, jewelry uh companies that to email me asking me to promote their their bracelets or things like that and I know they're from overseas because I've looked them up and it says you know they're in other countries outside the U.S. and some of those two are kind of tricky because you don't really know if they're going to hold up their end of the bargain and you don't really know if the product is what it states to be like if it's a uh, 14 karat gold or if it's 14 karat gold plated you don't really know and it and I'm one of those people that doesn't really know a lot of people that are going to buy um, $65 rings. So it's not something that I'm going to spend time dealing with. But some of the things you can do are just that. Go ahead and search for the companies, search for the products, see if you find anything through any um, search engines and just to see if anybody leaves reviews because there's a lot of um, reviews that you might find through like third-party websites like a Trustpilot or a Site Jabber or even the Better Business Bureau if you're here in the United States. Um, sometimes you find a lot of things like that. People will complain about websites that aren't holding up their end of the bargain or for example if you're being contacted by a company to promote sunglasses and their sunglasses are from another country. How long is it going to take for it to get to you or to whoever purchased it? Um, so that's kind of what I mean. You kind of have to do your own homework in that sense. Um, in terms of being spam, some companies can be very spammy. And when I'm sent repeated emails from companies, that's when I end up with like an, uh, that's when red flags go up for me. If I keep getting the same email from the same company repetitively, I know it's either too good to be true or they're just really s spammy in that sense. Um, I was getting one, going back to the, the sunglasses, I kept getting one email from a company about sunglasses and I finally gave up and looked them up and they had some pretty bad ratings through various websites and, and people were claiming that they were waiting weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks for their sunglasses and their sunglasses never arrived and they didn't want to pay them back. So it's, it's stuff like that that you kind of have to look out for. And again, you don't always have to be somebody that's in the um, reviewing and testing realm. I think this is basically going out to a lot of people at this point because brands want free advertising. And um, it's just, it's happening more and more. So for my final thoughts on this um, topic is just do your homework, do your research. If you are contacted by companies, there are things you can do kind of to um, weed out the ones that may not be for you if you're willing to work with another company. But the basic thing is to do your homework and to do your research to make sure that the company is um, legitimate and to make sure that the brand will hold up their end of the bargain if you do opt to work with them. Um, in the following uh next couple videos I'll show you some ways that you can set up like quick replies and stuff like that for um, your social media especially Instagram and Facebook so I hope this was helpful have a good day everybody bye